Any successful bed bug elimination project begins with education. Be sure you and your staff are fully educated in terms of bed bug biology and identification. Check out the highly affordable IBBRA Layer Defense Strategy for sale now exclusively at convectex.com. Once bed bugs have been positively identified within a multi-housing unit, begin prepping for heat. For a more detailed understanding of how to prep for heat treatment, please watch the bed bug heat treatment preparation video. You can also download heat prep instructions from the training page or the apartment package product page. After prepping for heat, place the fans and heaters in a manner to maximize convective air movement. Remember, the idea is that you will be turning your unit into a convection oven through the use of high heat and air movement. Place all fans blowing in the same direction along the walls and thresholds to circulate the hot air into every nook and cranny. If possible, place at least two fans per room. Next, turn on the fans to ensure that the air movement is sufficient. Place the 52K heater and a 52K fan in the largest room possible and connect the plug from the heater to the fan. Then connect the fan to the heater using the rubber lashings. There are two 240 volt receptacles, one per side, that power the heating elements. The 24 amp 240 volt receptacle requires a minimum circuit of 30 amps at 240 volts. For this receptacle, you may use up to 100 feet of 10 gauge cable. The other receptacle is found at the end of the short cable. This 40 amp 240 volt receptacle requires a minimum circuit of 50 amps at 240 volts. For this receptacle, you may use up to 70 feet of 8 gauge cable. Running longer power cords will require larger gauge cable. If the apartment has a 30 amp 240 volt dryer outlet and a 50 amp 240 volt oven range outlet, you can wire matching plugs to use those outlets to power your heater. If this is not an option, you will need to have the cables hardwired directly into a subpanel. Hardwiring applications should only be performed by a certified and licensed electrician. You must have the fan plugged in or the unit will not operate. None of the heating elements will turn on if the fan is not on. If you block the inlet or the outlet of the unit, the heating elements will shut off or will not turn on. This safety feature ensures that proper minimum airflow is maintained, preventing the heating elements from overheating. The 52K heater comes with two state-of-the-art digital temperature controllers built into the unit. The view panels are located on top of the unit. The controllers are preset to 132 degrees Fahrenheit, requiring no adjustments unless you wish to change the temperature. To change the temperature setting, Press the set button and then use the up and down arrows to set your desired temperature. If you purchased a package with universal fan heaters or UFH, connect the heaters to the fans. Each UFH has two separate 7.5 amp, 120 volt heating elements. Each black cable powers one of the elements. When used together, the heater will generate enough power to heat an additional 100 square feet. The UFH heater also comes with a state-of-the-art digital temperature controller built into the unit and works exactly like the controller on the 52K heater. The controller is preset to 132 degrees Fahrenheit, requiring no adjustment unless you wish to change the temperature. Depending on your unit's electrical outlets, you can power both heating elements with one 20 amp circuit or one heating element with one 15 amp circuit. Caution! Always turn fans on prior to turning the UFH on. Always turn UFH off prior to turning fans off. Let the process run for a minimum of 18 hours for maximum heat penetration. Be sure to check the system from time to time during the process to be sure no breakers have tripped and to turn the fans in different directions to maximize the distribution of heat. Monitor the room using the infrared laser spectrometer pistol this will give you a quantifiable measurement of the temperatures in the room. Take temperature readings under the bedspread and pillows, around headboards, and inside cabinets and drawers. You should also take temperature readings under the beds, on carpet surfaces, and under carpet edges if possible. Turn the fans from time to time towards any cool spots you may have identified. Keep in mind walls and ceilings made of block or concrete require more heat because they are more conductive of energy than drywall. 
This means that one heater will heat less space when you have walls and or ceilings made of block or concrete. 50% more power is a good general rule for these types of rooms. Once the room has been heated for the appropriate amount of time, try to leave the room closed and hot. This will extend the treatment time as the room cools slowly. Temperatures will remain lethal to bed bugs and their eggs for a few hours after the system is shut down and removed from the room. After the room has cooled, the tenant should wash all blankets and linens on high heat, followed by a high heat drying cycle as a further precaution. Thank you for watching this video and seeing just how truly easy it is to kill bed bugs yourself.